Tonight, the head of Mississippi's NAACP is joining the call for the senator to step down over a controversial comment and joking about a public hanging. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris joins us now in studio with the exclusive interview. Gerald? That's right, Mel and Byron. Dr. Robert James says Cindy Hyde Smith is unfit to serve as an elected official, and the statement she made uncovers the darkness of Mississippi. To make a statement. Uh, that she would be on the front row of a lynching is something that's heartbreaking to all the citizens in the, in the state of Mississippi. The backlash is heating up for Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith, who is not backing down on her statement about sitting on the front row of a public hanging. And she should be held accountable to what she said. Hyde Smith maintains her statement was an exaggerated expression of regard. However, Jackson City Councilman Aaron Banks and religious leaders aren't buying it. Because of the fact that you refuse to acknowledge, yeah. if anybody's going to repent and ask for, for forgiveness, you've got to acknowledge. Because of the fact that you fail to acknowledge your, 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 your deplorable words, yeah, yeah, you need yeah. to resign. Calls and emails to Senator Cindy High Smith to clarify her statement have gone unanswered. And the Mississippi NAACP conference president asserts Hyde Smith is unfit for office. Is it proper for someone to spew this kind of hate out of their mouth and say that they can represent all people, uh, that they will make sure that they're fair and balanced and all people make sure that they have the right uh, to life and pursuit of happiness. Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith was defended by re-elected Senator Roger Wicker and Governor Phil Bryant. On Twitter, Governor Bryant said, we will stand strong against the Democrats in the mainstream media attacks on this fine woman. But his defense is causing condemnation of his own. I think what is really offensive to the citizen of this state, that you would have a governor that would condone her action. And then she would continue not to give an explanation of, of what she said about lynching. Again, I've reached out to Senator Cindy Hyde Smith for an explanation of the remarks she made at a campaign event and have not received an answer. Reporting in the studio, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.